Okay, it's Monday morning and it's another paper review. What's happening? Well, I think most of the headlines, in fact all the headlines and more, says it's wet. Oh well, another important piece of news which is going to come out this week and that's been flagged up in today's press is a Leveson report is due out. Will the press be regulated like the TV and broadcasters? Well, we'll have to wait and see and we'll then have to wait and see if the government actually concurs with the report. There is obviously rumours that uh, Cameron has his own ideas. Moving on to our sectors, there are some property stories. Emily, exciting, property bonds are near a record high. The issuance of property bonds by European real estate companies. The FT were getting excited by that. Also, the builder and developer of McCarthy and Stone may be put up uh, for sale. They're hiring advisors, which tend to be investment banks, to consider strategic options. Uh, merchant banks or investment banks only think of one strategic option, and that's setting up or flotation to get their fees. So that's almost a certainty. On the personal finance side, well, we said it's wet, and when it's wet, it floods, and when it floods, people obviously suffer damage to their houses. So the insurance um, businesses are Emily saying that they will stop insuring all these um, wet houses unless the government steps in to help them. Uh, whinging, I think we should call that. The Centre of Policy Studies, think tank, is calling for tripling of the annual limits for ISAs. That's going to be good news, for, obviously, for building scientists and banks. Meanwhile, PwC has issued a report saying that underfunded pension schemes could cripple many big corporate companies. I think that's a very old story. Finally, and um, <coughs> perhaps on a lighter note, I'm going to do the ins and outs. Ins. Tom Cruise literally flew into Trafalgar Square over the weekend and caused Emily London to go to a standstill. But it was only about five o'clock in the morning, so I don't think there was too much problems. The Stones are in at the O2. Benitez is in at Chelsea Football Club. Out. Well, Boris is out of town. He's in India. Ryan is out of the X Factor. The TV show Money's been axed, and poor old JR is dead. There endeth the Monday summary.